Hi, today on the Kids Post channel, we're going to be giving you the best tips and tricks to start teaching your baby to self-settle with Sleep Whisperer, Elizabeth Sloan. The Kids Post. Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Carly. So, when do we know if our baby's ready for a self-settling program? A general rule is that around about six months, so many boxes are in a position to be ticked. Most babies have finished off that frequent set of injections in terms of immunisation. Most babies have started solids. Most babies do no longer need or require feeding in the night. Most paediatricians would agree that most babies are in a position from about five months on to self-settle in the night or alternately sleep through. So I think by six months, it's a great time to say, only if it's right for your family, look, I am struggling with the lack of sleep that the family unit and the baby is getting. It is affecting her appetite in the morning. It is affecting the day sleeps. I think six months is a wonderful time with solids on board to be able to say, look, it is highly unlikely my baby is waking in the night from hunger. I think she is waking simply because she requires someone or something and does not know the gift of self-settling. Perfect age to start. I think it's for you personally as a family. I've never advocated, even if your baby is 10 months or 12 months, to move into sleep training unless it's right for your family. So if you have decided that I no longer want to be up five times a night, it absolutely is the right decision for our family to get good quality sleep again. I would allocate a couple of nights. I would tell well-meaning friends and family if they're on board to cook a meal or take a toddler. Uh, if they're not in a grants, then it's probably great to gently tell them to buzz off for a couple of days while you're staying calm and committed and consistent to teaching your baby the gift of self-settling. The most important thing with starting to teach your baby to sleep is to recognise all those friends that are now foes, whether they be the magic dummy, or whether they be the rocking, or the padding, or the feeding to sleep. So once you've been committed to say that you're now going to do some gentle sleep training with your baby, it's important to organise your cot. So I always say around about four o'clock in the afternoon of the night that you're going to start, so you're nice and calm when your baby goes to come into the room at 6.30. You can have a lovely feed together, put him in his sleeping bag, read him his story, grab yourself a cotton sheet. Now, very important, SIDS guidelines, Cotton on cotton, smoke for your environment, no extra paraphernalia in the cot. Fold them in to a width no wider than your hand. Move it across the base of your cot. So you roughly work out where your baby will be. So the baby that I'm with at the moment is around about 10 months. His little feet in the sleeping bag move to this direction, feet to base, which is very important in terms of our SIDS guidelines. And his head will be up here. I want the band to come just across his upper back. We're placing our baby today on his tummy because he's 10 months tucking over, lift, don't be afraid to lift it right up. Make it nice and tight. Find yourself anything. I've just grabbed a pillowcase, can be muslin, can be the old the cloth nappies, anything that you've got in your nursery, none of this product has to be bought. Most cots have a little gap, and even if they don't, I'm pushing this down this side. It acts as a anchor, a wonderful anchor, so your baby remi remains nice and secure. Bringing your baby in to bed so that once he comes in, you will put the other side of the sheet over, another pillowcase, very simple, I've chosen cotton, no buttons, like to keep it cotton just for safety and place the other anchor on this side. And there you are ready and all organised to start your gentle sleep training with your baby at 6.30 that night. That's very clever listening. So those intervals of knocks and shushes are for your baby to be distracted. 
while he's protesting and weaning off the dummy or the breast or the pat so that he then moves to self settle. To find out more, go to Elizabeth's website, which is on screen now. And you can also download her fabulous ebook, The Gift of Sleep. And don't forget to subscribe to the Kids Post channel for more great episodes.